So Donald Trump sent out a tweet, as he always does, and, and, and it is news. It, it is news because he's the president of the United States. But this was a tweet over the weekend uh, discussing, quote unquote, fake news. He said the fake news uh, media failing in New York Times, NBC News, ABC, CBS and CNN is not my enemy. It is the enemy of the American people. Now, a lot has been said about this over the weekend um, across different platforms. Everyone has had a comment about this. And, and, uh, and most people cast this conversation, and probably rightfully so, in context of all the previous presidents who have had an issue with the press. Uh, as far back as Thomas Jefferson, I think some examples were given. And Thomas Jefferson lamented about the uh, dishonesty of the press. However, I do believe this is the first one of the first presidents, maybe Nixon, I, I would say possibly Nixon, uh, just because of the, the, the person that he was. But Donald Trump is not saying that he dislikes the media. He's not saying that he doesn't trust the media. He's not saying watch out for the media. He's saying that the media is the enemy of the American people. That is dramatically different than saying uh, Thomas Jefferson saying, I'm, you know, I hate the press because they're lying. Versus the American people should not trust the press. So this is this is not Donald Trump's battle with the press. This is Donald Trump trying to make the American people not trust the press. The entire fake news fiasco is that is representative of that attempt by Donald Trump. Uh, but the, the most nefarious thing about this is the fact that or not nefarious, but the most detrimental thing about this is the fact that Donald Trump understands the gullibleness, how easily manipulated his particular audience is and their, their need to have a way to protect the hermetically sealed echo chamber. Because if anything ever cracked the, 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 this, this chamber, this echo chamber, this seal, if anything ever cracked that seal and they were ever exposed to information that contradicted their preconceived notions and their implicit biases, then clearly it presented an opportunity at, at a minimum, at a minimum, it presented an opportunity for them to experience the physical discomfort that comes with knowledge that disagrees with your starting position. This is true of everyone. Every single one of us are guilty. I mean, when we hear something and we see evidence of something that disagrees with what we want to believe, it causes us physical discomfort. And Donald Trump has given a tool to his followers. They, he's given them a way to dismiss everything that contradicts their desire to see Donald Trump as their great leader, their dear leader. Now, Fox News, media in general, people do this on behalf of their preferred president. The media has done this in the past. I mean, like there's always going to be a website that you can go to that's going to give you everything that you need to feel OK about the person that you are supporting, even though the evidence is saying the person that you're supporting is a piece of shit. There's always been. But have we ever had a president who themselves has taken up their platform and their bully pulpit to feed this level of derangement inside of their own support base to say don't trust the media even even barack obama when he was frustrated and infuriated with fox news he said he didn't like fox news but he never said that they were the enemy of the people we're going into a whole new arena of propaganda and a whole new level of assault on actual assault on the First Amendment, right? We're having the highest office in America clamp down on any negative news, any negative polling, any opposition in the form of media. He's cracking down on it by not, not just directly attacking them, but by giving his audience everything they need to exist in la la land 
and dismiss everything that they see that is that that challenges their perception of Trump or challenges their perception of conservatism. It doesn't matter because now they can just easily dismiss it as fake news and they are the enemy. Don't trust anyone but Donald Trump. Don't trust anything that's negative. If it's negative, it's fake news. If it's positive, it's good news. And we are only not even, oh, today, today marks the first full month of Donald Trump. I swear it feels like it's been a year. I swear it feels like it's been at least two or three years, but we've only completed one month of Donald Trump's presidency.